Hi, welcome to Chris Cook for YouTube. Tonight I'm going to do a simple side dish and it's called cheesy scallop potatoes. Now, this does not take a lot of time to put together. It's very easy to put together. The most time that it's going to take is the 60 minutes that it requires for it to bake off in a 375 degree oven. So let's get started. Here I have just some simple ingredients. I have two cups of shredded cheese. I have two tablespoons, heaping tablespoons of all-purpose flour. This calls for two onions, but you can put as many onions in it as you like, depending on how much you like onions. And I'm using four small onions, which would really probably equal to two. And here I got, this was a five-pound bag of potatoes, so I'm just using half of it. And I'm going to put the recipe at the bottom so you don't have to worry about it. And then I have some chives, some parsley flakes, a half a stick of butter. This is the uh, granulated or the minced garlic. I have that and it calls for two cups of milk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away, cut up my potatoes, and once I cut up my potatoes, I'll be back and we'll put this together. Okay, right now back. we're at the stove and as you can see my butter has just all melted up. I put the whole stick in the saucepan and then I melted it. So now what I'm going to do is to add my onions and I want you to look at how I cut my onions up. I just sliced them up. I sliced them in half and then I just cut them up. But you don't have to do them like that. You can chop them if that's what you choose to do or if you prefer to do it the way I did it, you can do it. Now we're going to saute these onions for maybe about three minutes just until they become limp. They don't have to change colors or anything like that. They just have to get limp. So I'm going to saute them until they do that. And what I will do about two minutes into the sauteing process, I will add in the minced garlic, which you see right here. So once that sautés up and becomes wet, okay, now if I'll you look that. at my onions, they just got soft. I did not caramelize my onions. They didn't turn color. They just got soft. So what I'm going to do now is to add my two heaping tablespoons of all-purpose flour. I'm going to mix that in and now you see I have like a paste. So now I'm going to add my milk. And this is two cups of milk. Like I told you, I will have the ingredients at the bottom of this uh, dish. Now, I'm going to stir this for maybe the next about, I don't know, 5-10 minutes, maybe a little bit longer than that, until it starts to thicken up. Once it starts to thicken up, I will get back and we'll complete it. Okay, now if you will look at my sauce, it has thickened and you see it has started to boil. Okay, now once it starts to boil, you remove it from the heat. Okay. So we'll sit it on this side. And then you add your two cups of cheese, leaving one fourth of the cheese for the topping. So I've left one fourth of my cheese here and I've added the two cups of cheese once I removed it from the heat. Now, you don't uh, want to have this cooking on the heat. So make sure that you just remove it, set it to the side, and then stir in your cheese. And you can use any kind of cheese you want. I'm using mozzarella and mild cheddar. You don't have to use that. Monterey Jack, anything that you like, you can use. Just make sure there's two cups. So now we'll get back to the dish itself. Okay, now we're at the other side of my kitchen. And now I have a buttered dish here. This is a buttered casserole, casserole dish. And I'm going to put in my potatoes. And I'm using Yukon Gold Potatoes. These are the best kind when you're making like casserole dishes and what you can do is you can use this kind or you can use any other kind that you may have on hand and you can either take the skins off or you can leave the skins on now in this particular recipe I took my skins off but you don't have to do it just make certain that you wash your potatoes real good now I'm going to put in this I'm gonna sprinkle on some chives and I'm going to sprinkle on some parsley. Spread it out just a little bit more. 
Now I'm going to put in another layer of potatoes. <coughs> and I'm going to follow the same procedures. And this is a good um, a good dish. I'm having it with some baked pork chops tonight. That's what we're having. This is my my uh, parsley, and this is my chives. And then I'm gonna do another layer of potatoes. So the only thing you're going to do is continue to layer it. Now a butter dish, you can butter it with anything that you choose to butter it with. You can butter it with your pan or you can butter it with just some butter or oil it with just some butter. Okay. Now put in my last one. I'm going to sprinkle in my parsley. And I'm just going to sprinkle in a little more chives. All right. <clears throat> now when I get that covered, I'm going to bring back my cheese spread, which is here. And then I'm going to pour it all over this dish. This is my cheese and my onions. This looks good. And this cheese smells great. Now, I'm going to shimmy this a little bit. just so I can get down to the bottom. And I see a little bit of my potatoes that's not covered down here, so I scooted it just a little bit more over there. Okay, now I'm gonna put on the topping, which is some of my leftover cheddar cheese, mild cheddar, and my mozzarella. Okay, now I'm going to put this in the oven and I'm going to bake it off at 375 degrees for roughly 60 minutes, one hour. When it finishes, I will get back to you. Okay, now we're at the stove and it looks like it's ready. Ooh. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out. And there it is, it is piping hot. I'm going to allow it just a little bit of time for the bubbles to subside because as you can see it's very hot. Okay, so I'm going to let it um, just wait for about five minutes before I dish it up and then I will be okay, right Okay, now actually back. it's been about three or four minutes. It hasn't been about five minutes, but I wanted the bubbling to stop. So now I'm going to take out, this dish is hot, I'm going to dish up some of the potatoes and as you can see you can still see that it's very hot okay just a little bit more this is cheesy so this will go great with any um any meat that you decide to serve it with like i told you tonight i'm going to serve it with baked um I'm baking some pork chops, so I'm going to serve it with that. But now would be the time for you to add salt and pepper if that's what you want to do. I didn't add pepper, I'm sorry, salt to the menu because potatoes will absorb salt when it cooks. So I didn't add it. So now would be the time for you to add your salt and your pepper if you decide to. But serve this with any meats that you have it. Okay, so there you have it. Chris is making cheesy scallop potatoes. And as always, thank you for watching Chris Cook for YouTube. Bye. All right, so there you have it. Chris is making cheesy potato.
Okay, so there you have it. Chris is making cheesy potato. There you have it. Chris is making cheesy potato casserole.